Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be swatching two mini sets from Deep Deep Light. One is the festive dinner set and the other one is the winter bird set. I'll just open them up for you to see. This is the winter bird set. It has six colours in it. It has great tit, bullfinch which I had opened for a project, apologies. Forest Pigeon, Green Woodpecker, Partridge and Raven. And the festive dinner set has three colours in it. And they are Bronze Caput, Golden Gold Ochre and Silver Tuff. And as always, I prepared a little layout where we'll be doing the swatching. And here we'll do the winter bird set, here the festive dinner set, and here I reserved a little area for some mixing. I thought it would be fun to mix a little bit with the winter bird set and see what colours we can come up with. So I'll just set everything up and I'll be back and we'll begin swatching. See you in a little bit. So I'll begin swatching the colour Great Tit, which is a yellow. And I'm going to start swatching it in mass tone and then I'm going to swatch a diluted, the diluted version underneath. And this, oh it's a lovely muted warm yellow. It looks lovely. It has quite a bit of opacity to it but when we dilute it you'll see how transparent it can become yeah oh, it's so lovely it's like a mustard colored mustard colored mustard color sorry <laughs> My words are abandoning me and we haven't even started the video. So yeah, there we go. It's beautiful. It verges on orange, I think, almost. It's a beautiful, beautiful, warm, muted yellow. The next color we shall be swatching is Bullfinch, which is a red. And it is a very earthy red. Oh, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It is such a pretty earthy red. So this is Bullfinch, and I think we did it a little bit larger than that, but hey ho. And let's dilute that. It's, it's beautiful, I love Bullfinch. Look how pretty that it's that color is. It's like it's a red, but it's it's a very terracotta red. It's beautiful. Our next color is green woodpecker, which is one of the greens that I added to the Whispered Season my curated palette. And I love it. I love it for its earthiness and how natural it looks. It gives that vivid color of green that you can get in nature, but it's not overpowering, it's not fake. It's a beautiful green. Let me dilute that for you so you can see. It's lovely. The pitter patter of little feet in my studio is Sweepy. She has just demanded to enter the studio. <laughs> I hope she settles down. 
but that is what you are hearing the um her little feet tapping on the on the floor okay moving on we have what do we have next we have forest pigeon one of my favorite blues this blue i chose for my favorite one of my favorite colors of 2023 because i love this blue it is it's so unique and it's just beautiful it's very almost like an earthy blue if i can say that can you have an earthy blue i it it just it's so natural it's beautiful i love it I absolutely love it i have to stop myself from using it all the time because i tell myself you need to use other blues as well can't just be stuck on this one but i love it beautiful beautiful blue And next we have Partridge, another unique colour, which is full of surprises. A little bit like prickly pear, this when you dilute it, you see it's very opaque when you lay it down and it's almost, well it's brown, it's a brown colour. A chocolatey brown colour and I'm going to dilute it see that is granulating so beautifully and that green woodpecker is as well it has it has to this colour has different colours in it don't know if this will show it sufficiently yeah as I move you can see move the brush you can see some of the particles of the other colors just yeah I know if you can see that I can see it it's like different color in there like a violet it's it's lovely for bark that's beautiful and it granulates it's granulating already it's beautiful and the last color of this set is raven which is a black oh I'm gonna need a bit more raven for that yeah it's a warm black it's a warm black and a really good complement to the other colors this is such a well curated palette i love it And let's dilute that so you can see what grey it can produce. There we go. Look, look at that separation there of colour and that granulation there and granulation. And this, this bullfinch it doesn't have any granulation at all although it's so earthy no granulation I mean a little bit I hesitate to say that has it may have a little bit these all are granulating beautifully it's such a pretty color moving on to the festive dinner set I'll just move this out of the way now these I have tried before. This set here I have never tried before. So these are brand, they're going to be a brand new experience for me. 
and I'm going to start swatching the mm, I think we're going to go with the bronze caput let's swatch that in mass tone oh oh it looks like it's got some sparkly bits in it it looks sparkly let's see it's a lovely color it's like a chocolatey brown you know leaning towards towards red let's dilute that Yes, I can see lots of sparkly bits on the palette, but it's a beautiful colour. And the sparkly bits aren't, I don't know if that's a te technical term, sparkly bits, but they are not overpowering. And you know that I, I do not like um, pearlescent colours. I'm not a huge fan. If you don't know, I, I have mentioned it. In previous videos I just I'm not a fan of um, pearlescent colors but this is very very subtle you can't even see it here at all I wonder how it's going to dry I wonder if there's going to be any sparkle when it dries we'll see now the next one is gold golden gold ochre yes I said it correctly um, golden gold ochre and this looks similar to that yellow yeah oh no no -uh, no not it's a different color and for an ochre transparent as I'm trying to lay it down in mass tone here and no it's not really happening I can see the paper underneath let's dilute that oh that is lovely that is lovely it's a very it's a transparent ochre very yellow leaning ochre nice and the last one is silver tough and this looks like the cherry blossom color i've tried from their series let's move that a little bit before i dip my hand into it oh that's so pretty oh i think this has sparkly bits as well and it is quite translucent yeah well that is a lovely color wow that does remind me of cherry blossom but i think this is pinker and that leans more towards violet if i'm not mistaken and let's dilute that Yes, I can see, I can see when I'm diluting it. I don't know if I can, oh, I just touched that, whoops. Um, I don't know if you can see there is like a slight sparkle. I'll just add a bit more. I doubt you can see that, but there is a little bit of a sparkle in there. that and that is very pretty as well and they I mean they do have sparkly bits the technical term I'm using but you can't really see them I mean this is drying I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait. I think I think you can see a bit. 
of shine. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see when they dry. Just going to correct me touching it with my clumsy hand there. Okay. And now we've done those, I'll wash my palette and we'll do a, a spot of mixing. See you in a minute. I'm back with a nice clean palette and we'll begin mixing. So I'll be mixing some of the colours on the winter, winter bird set. And I think I'm going to begin with trying to mix an orange. So I'm going to put some of this yellow and then some of the bullfinch, which is our red. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll put a bit more yellow, teeny bit more yellow. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Maybe even a little bit more yellow. Yeah. As we don't have an orange there on in our set, I thought it'd be good to mix that. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, it's a lovely, soft, happy orange. I like that. Yeah, not loud, but a very, very pretty orange. Okay, so we don't have a violet. So let's attempt a violet with pigeon, our blue. And some of this bullfinch, which is our red. Ooh, I think I'm gonna need more blue. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Looks nice on the palette. Let's see what it does on the paper. Just move this. Oh, oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely violet. It's a very muted blue violet. Maybe I should have added a bit more water so you can see it better through the camera. But I hope it dries and you can see it better. It's lovely. It's, it's a greyish blue violet. It's lovely. Um, let's try mixing a second green. We have one green, but let's mix another green. Let's mix the blue and the yellow and see what happens. Here we go some of the yellow and some of the pigeon blue. Okay, that looks nice. That looks nice. Oh, that's nice. I have the, um, the feeling that if I put more blue, it's gonna become a lot like a forest, a dark forest muted muted colour. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to sacrifice one of our spaces here and just add more blue to it because I am intrigued. See what happens. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. That is lovely. That is a beautiful muted green. It's almost like a grey green. Oh, it has colour separation as well. That's lovely. Okay. Um what else should we mix? I think I want to try mixing something with partridge. I'm gonna mix partridge and pigeon, I think. Let's do that. Oh, that is very interesting. Let's see. 
a little bit more pigeon. Oh wow. Let's try that. Look at that color separation there. Oh, that's very similar to that. But it, it does have like a much more muted character to it. Okay. Let's see what happens when it dries. And um, I think what I want to try next is I want to try the bullfinch. Yeah, it's such a beautiful color. With the raven, we haven't tried the raven. Let's see if we can get an interesting color. Oh no, it's not brown. It's like a muted. It is a brown, but I think it's not mass tone. Let's do that. Let's just add. Yeah, it's a brown. <laughs> Fooled. Fooled by the diluted version. Let's add, just put some more color in there. Yeah, it's a brown. So mixing bullfinch and raven. We got a brown. I love that. No, those are so different now that they've dried. This has so much color separation. Oh, yes, me and my clumsy, my clumsy hand. That has so much color separation. And that is just a nice dark violet. I love that the colors are behaving as they should and they just, they do things when you mix them. They just don't sit there and just make another hue. They actually interact with each other. Yes, this is definitely a brown now. Um, okay, so I am going to have to let them dry and I'll come back and talk about them a little bit. So they've dried and I'm going to talk a little bit about each set. So the winter bird set is, I don't think I uh, mentioned this earlier, is a seasonal set. So it is only available in winter, so it's only available now. Um, I love this palette. I love this limited palette. I do have a soft spot for a limited palettes where you just have six colours and you work with those six colors um, to create something maybe in your sketchbook or a piece of a finished art um, because it makes you think it makes you kind of it, it brings you into its own atmosphere every palette has an atmosphere and when you use a palette with limited colors it has a certain atmosphere that will show in your work. This has a very delicate, muted um, winter atmosphere and I love it. Um, I love this lovely mustardy yellow. The bullfinch is now one of my favorites. I do love it very much. The woodpecker green, I I love that's why it's in one of my curated palettes for deep deep light and pigeon also one of my favorites the partridge look at that look at that color separation it's separating into a blue it's like a brown a background but it's got blue and I think the blue looks like as if it is the pigeon so these are beautiful together and the raven which is a it balances I think the palette out so I love this little set um, the festive dinner set now I have a problem with it's my own problem this is totally personal with colors that are pearlescent or shine in any way and um, 
these colours, these two, do. This one has dried and you can see like a gold shimmer on it. It is beautiful. If I saw it in someone else's work, I would love it. But I, I just can't work with it. Um, so these two, I love the hue, but I wouldn't use, I mean, this is gorgeous hue here. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I wouldn't use because of the shine they have. Now, for people that love colors that have a little bit of sparkle to them, these are perfect. And I love this. This doesn't, this, this um, golden gold ochre does not have any shine, so I'll be using it. And I did enjoy doing the little mixes here. I love this green, which separated so beautifully. And this, this separated as well into the blue, into the pigeon blue. You can see that the pigeon blue has that quality of when you mix with it, it does, it, it, with other certain colors, it does um, show up as color separation. You can see it here as well. And here, you can see a little bit of it here. I think that both palettes are really lovely. Um, just the, I would prefer the winter bird set um, over the festive dinner set. But that is my totally my personal preference. Um, so yes, so those are the two mini palettes from Deep Deep Light. Let me know if you would like to see other mini palettes from this selection. Um, I, I love doing these tiny palettes because as I said, I do have a soft spot for limited palettes. So that's it for today. I was hoping for a sunny day today because the weather forecast said it would be sunny. However, we have had nothing but clouds. So um, I hope that the video is, you know, it, it's okay, that it turns out okay, fingers crossed. Um, I have more delay in between my videos now because the weather has been so bad and I'm struggling to find days to film but hopefully when we have <laughs> the next next bit of sunshine and not storms or snow or to be fair we haven't had snow yet but snow is forecast for tomorrow or the day after um, I'll be filming again I have upcoming two palettes that are in the poster on the way to me which I cannot wait to swatch for you I cannot wait to experience myself as well so I'm going to leave you here I'm going to say my awkward bit which is if you like this video please hit the like button because that helps the video's visibility if you would like to see more videos from me please subscribe and hit the notification button so YouTube lets you know when I have a video ready, a new video uploaded. And comment, what do you think of these colors? I love your comments. Let me know what you think of the palettes. Um, and yeah, that's it, I think. Oh, you can comment anything else you want, obviously, not just about the palette, whatever you want. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave you here with my little mini um, section about hope where I say to you, don't lose hope. And I mean it with all my heart. Do not lose hope. Hold on to that hope. I'm holding right there with you. There are dark times. I know that. I know they are, but they will pass. So please, please keep hoping, keep holding on to that hope. We'll hold on together, okay? Love you guys. Keep safe, keep creative, and I'll see you all, hopefully, weather permitting, very soon. Bye bye for now. Bye.